Hello my beautiful friends, Gabe here from drumbeatsonline.com and today I'm teaching you a really sick double bass pattern that not only sounds awesome and will be perfect for breakdowns, but it improves your control and your speed over your double kick pedal. So let's jump into it. All right, so we're gonna break this exercise down into two parts, but first, we're gonna need our sticks. Perfect. Okay, so for part one, we are gonna start off by simply playing eighth notes on the ride. So one and two and three and four and. And then on the snare drum, we're simply gonna be playing on beats two and four. Then we're just going to play straight 16th notes on the double kick. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And if we put it all together, it sounds like this. Okay, so now moving into part two is where things start to sound more like a breakdown. And that's because we are moving to what's called a halftime feel, which generally means that you are placing the snare drum on beat three instead of two and four. So we are going to stick with that by playing on beat three on the snare drum. And then we are switching to quarter notes on a stack, a china, or a crash cymbal. So just on beats one, two, three, and four. Then finally, on the double kick, we are switching to eighth note triplets. So here we are going to be playing one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and, uh, and if we put it all together, part two sounds like this. Okay, so that on its own sounds really awesome. But where the challenge comes in is coming from the 16th notes on the kick drum to the eighth note triplets. This is what's really going to build your control in your feet. But I think we can take this to the next level. So we are going to expand this halftime triplet beat to four measures. Measure number one, we are going to be doing exactly the same thing that I just showed you. But in measure number two, on the one and uh, we are now going to play three sixteenth note triplets. Now this is going to switch which one of your feet is actually leading the pattern, which is really gonna challenge you and help you focus on growing your control on the double pedal. Then moving to measure number three, we are again going to add in three sixteenth note triplets, which is going to revert your footing back to your dominant foot leading. Then finally in measure number four, we are going to add in three 16th note triplets on beat one, and then another three 16th note triplets on beat two. This seriously sounds incredible, so now let me show you what it sounds like with these changes in mind. So now let's take part one and play it for four measures and then combine that with the part we just learned and then we will have the full exercise. Check it out.
Now this exercise is gonna help you gain serious control over your double pedal. And when you gain serious control, you gain serious speed. Not only is it going to build your control when you are switching subdivisions, but by switching which foot is leading the pattern is going to take you really far. So practice this exercise for five minutes a day for the next 30 days, and you will see some massive improvements over your control and speed over the double kick. If you enjoyed this lesson, I actually have two courses called Mastering the Double Bass Pedal Level 1 and Mastering the Double Bass Pedal Level 2 that are available on my online drum school, DBO Academy. If you wanna make fast progress on the kit and in your double bass pedal, I would highly suggest joining the totally free DBO Academy waitlist right up here. When you do, I will send you a free lesson. But if not, Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Stay true, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye. Okay, so the first thing we are gonna do is, uh... <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's so scary. I don't even wanna catch him. I just wanna think of the funniest way to not catch him. Nailed it. Perfect. Ow.